And we finally have it iPhone 13 mini, the latest, the smallest, the fastest smartphone from Apple. It comes in five colors, has an improved battery life, a new screen with a smaller notch, and starts with 128 gigabytes of storage. I could simply say, it's a nice phone, go and buy it, but Apple decided to keep another mini alive, the 12 mini. And maybe we can save some money and buy the last year's model. So let's find out. Hey guys, it's Alex and welcome to the Geeks Table. As you might know, I prefer Pro models and iPhone 12 Pro Max is still my daily driver, but the mini models have a special place in my heart. First of all, they are extremely portable and light, so I could use one on a gimbal while keeping the main phone in the pocket, and also they are as powerful as the bigger iPhones. You can watch my iPhone 12 mini video where I dive quite deep into this, but first, let's do a comparison that is sponsored by myself. I'm sure the biggest question for everyone is, has the battery life got improved or not? Apple claims 13 mini can live one and a half hours longer, but is that really true? First, I charged them both to 100%, raised the screen to its maximum brightness and started watching Full HD videos on YouTube over Wi-Fi. Twelve mini switched off in 9 hours and 42 minutes, but 13 mini could stay alive for 11 hours and 2 minutes, which is very impressive. Of course, these results are approximate and I'm pretty sure that you have a different pattern of using a smartphone, that's natural, but I hope it helps you to understand at least what to expect. Also, I should note that 13 mini was more hot during my test and extreme temperatures can affect the battery life. By the way, write down in the comments how do you use your smartphone. This will help me to improve my tests in the future videos and eventually they will be more useful to you. Promise to do that after watching this video. Okay, after we talked about draining the battery, let's talk about charging it. How fast it will take to charge 13 mini? I turned off optimized charging mode. This charged both phones to 0% and then started measuring. If we do it via 20 watt charger that Apple recommends, iPhone 13 mini will finish in 1 hour and 22 minutes, and iPhone 12 mini in 1 hour and 29 minutes. I've also decided to try the 100 watt chargers that you can buy these days that are obviously more powerful, and in this case, iPhone 13 mini finished in 1 hour and 17 minutes, and iPhone 12 mini in 1 hour and 37 minutes. But there is more! I've compared the MagSafe charging via 20W chargers. And in this case, 13 mini was ready in 1 hour and 58 minutes, and 12 mini was ready in 2 hours and 35 minutes. And that's an impressive result. So if we compare the wired and wireless results, now it makes more sense to buy a MagSafe charger. Most people who consider buying an iPhone mini probably have iPhones with a Touch ID, so I believe you'll be happy with the new screen anyways. If you're moving from the 12 mini, then the only difference will be the size of the notch. But you won't get any extra icons there, so it will be just a visual improvement. A more useful improvement, though, is the brightness of the screen. You probably won't notice it in the daily usage, but it got a bit brighter under the sunlight. Let's not forget that an iPhone is also a phone, so how good are the microphone and network reception? For many people, the microphone quality is quite important. We record voice messages, we participate in clubhouse events, well, some of us. Some people even record podcasts on a phone. So let's check its quality. So this is the test of the microphones of the iPhone minis. I'm talking pretty close to the phones and I hope that you can hear it really well. Now let me do a few steps away and let's see if it captures my movement. Hope it will be fine. And also let me open the window. Let's see if they capture any background noise. So I hope they won't capture that much because Otherwise, it will be quite hard to record podcasts. There was a car passing by conveniently. Let's see how it will affect the recording. 
and this is the test. I don't know about you, but to me they both sound identical. I'm pretty sure it's the same hardware in both of the mini iPhones. You could hear the background noise when I opened the window, right? So I would say we cannot rely on this microphone in a professional way. Well, unless we are in a quiet room, of course. I've heard some complaints on the network reception in the iPhones compared to the Android flagships. And you know what? They are right. I was in the middle of nowhere on a vacation. And while my dad with a Galaxy S10 could have LTE, my 12 Pro Max was struggling with 3G. So I went to some parts of the city with no network problems to check if there are any improvements and unfortunately no good. For example, here 12 mini could catch LTE and 13 mini was struggling with edge. I really want to wish that it's my bad luck. But actually there is something good here. In 13 mini you can use two eSIMs at the same time. So for example, if you have an eSIM of your local carrier and you're going abroad, now you can add another eSIM with no problem. With the iPhone 12, you can have only one eSIM and one physical one. Okay, while we're slowly moving from connectivity to the camera capabilities, I want to check how well is the front-facing camera for video calls. And please don't freak out. Okay, as you can see, the input is almost identical. I would say the iPhone 13 may be a little bit sharper and a little bit brighter, but the output is like it's the same. Also Skype adds this weird red overlay on my skin and we cannot control this. But now let's make it a little bit darker. Okay, now we are in a almost complete darkness and in the darkness I would say that the pictures don't change much. Let's add a little bit more light. Okay, we've added a little bit more light and that's quite funny because the images are almost the same in the input. I would say that the picture on the 13 is a little bit more yellow, but on the output we see that I look much more yellow. So I would say the iPhone 12 looks a little bit more natural. But anyway, for the webcam, I would say that it's barely any big difference. So in this chapter, we barely see any improvements or changes. Now let's switch to the main cameras. Which camera set is better, the iPhone 12 minis or 13 minis? If we just compare the specs, we'll notice that all the numbers are the same. We could treat it as an equal camera set between two models. However, there is one hardware and a bunch of software differences. The 13 mini has a sensor shift technology that allows you to have a more smooth video shot on the main camera. I did my best to find any improvements and it was kind of hard. I mean, check this part for the wobbling effect. It happens when software tries to keep your image steady. With the new main camera you won't have it obviously because the sensor shift technology will handle that. The day photos are mostly the same, sometimes they have different white balance and personally I like the one on 12 mini. But let me know down in the comments what do you think. Here are a few more examples. When we look at the night photos, the ones from the 13 mini look more natural. 13 mini doesn't make them as yellow as the previous iPhones did, and also it doesn't turn on the night mode as often. Or at least it asks for a smaller time to perform it. For example, here the 12 mini asks for 2 seconds, and 13 mini asks for just 1. Daylight videos both look good and it's the same situation as with photos. The difference is mostly in the white balance and here 13 mini was closer to my taste. Many people say 13 mini is an incremental update and when comparing the videos I can't agree more. In the indoor videos I noticed that the iPhone 13 mini handled the flickering much better than the iPhone 12 mini. Though the settings were obviously the same. If we switch to the night videos they look great and I hardly see any changes here. And you know what? That's not bad. It means that if you have an iPhone 12 mini, there is zero sense to upgrade for the camera. 
I mean, the 13 mini has two new modes, photographic styles and the cinematic videos, but cinematic videos work only in Full HD, and if you turn off the HDR in the settings, then you'll have this. A normal picture goes, and then boom, we have an HDR picture. Mostly it works nice, but it's definitely not a feature I would switch for from 12 mini. Now let's check how good is the performance. The phone is a powerful beast for sure, and I definitely recommend you to watch my iPhone 12 mini review for creative professionals, because most of it will apply to 13 mini, and you'll know what these phones are really capable of. Also, you will know what accessories you should or should not buy. I usually use LumaFusion for checking the performance and the difference is insignificant. Now it renders a 4K 25p video and the difference between the models is just 7 seconds. So now comes the final question. Which one to buy? So first of all, let's do a short recap. iPhone 13 mini has a slightly brighter screen than the iPhone 12 mini. It has a smaller notch, but it's not used by iOS. The difference between 128GB versions is just 50 US dollars. The camera has an improved stabilization and two new modes. It can record 4K 16 HDR and it has a slightly better performance. It also has a really improved battery and a fast charging via MagSafe. It has a 512GB version for those who need a lot of memory and it uses 2 eSIM support. So look at this list and check what is important to you. If you have more than 4 checks, then I'd say go with the 13 mini. But if your budget is quite tight, then, well, 12 mini is a good phone and you'll be happy with it for sure. Also now you can find a good discount on it, but please do not buy the 64GB version. And also you should avoid buying a used 12 mini because then you can get a weak battery and you won't enjoy your new phone at all. And again. The iPhone 12 mini deep dive review is now somewhere here. I definitely recommend you to watch it. And also, if you're looking for a MagSafe power bank for your 12 or 13 iPhone mini, I have a comparison somewhere here on the screen as well. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay subscribed, and see you at the Geek's Table. Bye.